All right, so here's the deal. Over the last year, I've lost quite a bit of weight, almost 30 pounds to be exact. And overall, I feel quite a bit healthier. I've got a lot more energy. I feel lighter throughout the day. But lately, I've been experiencing a few downsides having to do with losing weight. One really big downside that's actually causing me to rethink my goals for this next year. So today, I've actually got two workouts lined up. Right now, I'm about to go hit a gym session, and then I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about what these downsides are. All right, just got done working out and I did not lift near as much weight as I would have hoped, but that's actually kind of what I want to talk to you guys about today. So over the last year, I've lost quite a bit of weight and I did it very, very intentionally. If you guys have been following this channel, you know that over the last couple of years, I've gotten into ultra marathon training. Um, I did a 50K while I was still pretty heavy. Um, and then once I did that 50K, I was absolutely hooked. So then I started training for a 50 miler. And during that 50 miler, I was very intentional about trying to lose weight during the training for that. And it actually ended up paying off. I'm very, very glad I did it. I'm, I don't regret at all losing weight, just maybe in the way that I did it because of the unintentional um, kind of negative consequences I'll talk to you guys about. But during that, um, you know, I was very happy with how things turned out. I got um, third uh, in my age group. I got 15th place overall at the 50 miler, which I did not expect at all. I was just trying to finish with an okay time and I came out a lot faster um, and a lot stronger feeling than what I planned for. And a lot of that had to do with um, the amount of weight that I did lose. Now, if you guys are new to this channel or you haven't been following for very long, um, I used to be a full-time firefighter and a paramedic. During the time I, I was a firefighter, I was not really running. I was doing um, HIIT workouts. I was doing bodybuilding style workouts um, to be strong uh, for being a firefighter. You know, I was going in, doing the type of jobs firefighters do, running into burning buildings or lifting up sick patients, all of that. That tends to be um, more HIIT style workouts. And we did those all the time. And I felt very, very functional. When I got into um, getting into the ultra marathon world, most people are relatively skinny uh, and don't have very much muscle. So with that, the unintentional consequence of me losing all the weight was that I lost a ton of strength. During the entire time I was training for the 50 miler and then even over the last few months after the 50 miler, um, I've done very little strength, uh, strength training. Um, that workout right there, the gym workout I just did was my second weights workout in probably like six months. Now, over the time, I've still been doing push-ups, still been doing some pull-ups, not very much, um, but still been doing some of that. Um, but overall, my strength training has been essentially non-existent. So while I got to be, um, you know, I had a singular focus on becoming an ultra marathoner, and I did that successfully, I lost a lot of strength in the process. Um, so right now, my whole goals is to get back some of that functionality. Now, next week, um, make sure you guys are following along. Next week, I'm launching a new series that I'm super excited about. I'm getting ready to try to tackle um, some of the biggest challenges I've ever done in my life, the biggest challenges that I've ever done in my life over the next year, and specifically over this summer. But along with that, I am getting back into um, strength training and trying to become more and more more functional. Because if you guys have been following me for a while, there are ultra marathoners out there, and it's very possible to be an ultra marathoner and be extremely functional. Just look at people like Cameron Haynes, David Goggins, even Nick Bayer, who's trying to qualify for um, the Boston Marathon right now. That's a big dude and he's getting very fast and he's very functional. It is very possible to do that. So that's my whole goal um, over the next summer and, and frankly over the next year is to gain some of that strength back. Now I'm not trying to gain a ton of muscle. You know, my main goal is still the endurance training. I've, I'm absolutely in love with um, endurance training, especially endurance running, um, because of all the benefits it gives me and the amount of uh, pain caves I get to go through. If you guys have been following this channel, you know how much I love those. Um, so that's still the main goal, but I am trying to gain back a lot of strength, and I'm gonna be documenting that on this channel. With that, you know, I might gain a little bit of size. I'm just gonna kinda let my body do it at once. Um, I'm gonna be adding back a lot more calories. If you guys want me to do a whole video on how exactly I lost the weight, because it wasn't like I just went out for 
long training runs and I dropped weight. That was part of it, obviously, but I was I had to be very intentional with losing weight. So I can do a whole video on how exactly I lost both fat and muscle um, to get ready for the ultra marathons. I can do a whole video on that, um, but I'm going to be documenting this on this channel and coming out with some really, really cool series um, coming out actually next week about that. So um, keep that in mind. Definitely go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be documenting all this daily with my stories. You can see my workouts. This is one of two workouts for the day. Um, I'm gonna be going out for a run in just a little bit. I've got a little bit more work to do this afternoon, but then after that, I'm gonna be going for a run. I'll check in with you guys a bit later. All right, I'm about three miles into a short, easy five mile run. This week is actually kind of one recovery week in between the 50K I did last Friday and the new training block that starts next week that I'll be uh, announcing this next week. But I can tell you what, it's already getting hot and humid here in Austin, Texas. It's gonna be a hot summer. Recently though, I've read quite a, new, quite a bit of new studies talking about heat training versus high altitude training. And there's a lot of encouraging stuff coming out for those of us who live in hot and humid weather. But let me go ahead and finish this run up and I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, just wrapped up that five mile run. Like I said, that was just an easy, slow five miler. This week is my recovery week from the ultra marathon I did last week. Um, just bridging to the training plan I'm gonna announce this next week. That's gonna be a pretty big deal. Um, but through all of this, one thing I'm actually really, really encouraged about right now is I'm seeing a lot of strength athletes getting into ultra endurance events. Everything from, you know, even just running their first marathon all the way up to doing an Ironman or doing ultra marathons. I'm sure a lot of this is brought about from people like David Goggins, um, Cam Haynes, several of these guys are showing that you can definitely go ahead and be a beast in the gym and get out and do ultra endurance events. Some guys I follow is um, Alex Fiata. He's this huge powerlifting dude um, that does huge ultra marathons. Um, there's Chris Gathen. Uh, he's a big bodybuilding.com guy. Um, but there's a lot of uh, serious weight athletes that are putting out in these ultra endurance events. And if you haven't gotten into the ultra endurance world, there's some pretty cool things that come about once you do this training. Um, some things when you go through those pain caves, everything that people like David Goggins and Cam Haynes talk about. Sure, you get all of that, um, plus way more. But one thing that's really cool right now is, you know, back in the day, bodybuilders and powerlifters, you know, the, the famous thing, back when I was power, uh, power lifting and bodybuilding in college, the big thing was, you know, cro uh, cardio is for wimps and all that. Nobody wanted to do cardio. And now that's kind of been spun on its head. Now being a total athlete, being a complete athlete, that's kind of the new thing. Um, and one thing I can tell you guys is I feel so much better. Yes, I need to get back in the gym, get my strength back. I'd like to get just a bit more size, um, even with me trying to push longer and further in these ultra endurance events. But the cool thing is, is uh, you know, you'll feel so much better. And being a complete and total athlete is where it's at. I'm telling you that um, you will feel the best you will ever feel in your life when you can run fast, you can run far, um, you can throw up some heavy weight, all of that. Um, but, you know, if you guys are interested in this, uh, you, you know, you're liking people like Nick Bear, Cam Haynes, Dave Goggins, um, I think you're really going to like this new series that I'm coming out. Hopefully you guys can go ahead and take part in it as well. If you guys have any questions about any of this, I'd love to go ahead and help you guys out. Um, I'm helping a couple people right now get into doing their first ultra marathon. I'd love to go ahead and do that for you guys as well. Just go ahead and drop a comment down below. Um, but I'm excited to drop this new series for you guys next week. If you enjoyed this video, um, if you guys could please do me a huge favor, smash that like button. Make sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already be following along this journey. Um, but be happy, be positive, be powerful, and have a great rest of your day.